So first of all, we got to get our groceries. We went to the nearest market we have here. I think every country has a cheaper and also a more expensive choice of markets. Some products might not be available in the cheaper markets. You can get them in the more expensive one. We bought a couple of products, some of the products we already had in our home, so we didn't take everything, but we have the prices included for every meal. So we got the groceries ready, we arrived, we got the tripod for the filming, let's get to cooking. First we'll get some coffee done, then we'll get to cooking. So we'll start the cooking now. We'll start with breakfast, of course, the first meal of the day. So our idea is to present you the total amount of time that we will need to prepare this meal. You'll see it, of course, and also the price of every meal and also every calorie of every meal. Let's start with the breakfast now. So we'll start with the best breakfast of all time, in my opinion, at least, it's the omelet and we will broadcast every detail now. So we'll have like four eggs, we'll have some Greek yogurt, we'll have some cheese, some spinach, it's gonna be good. We'll roll up the stopwatch now. Let's go and start. Sometimes from all the cooking, you know exactly how much is 35 grams. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So this meal approximately will have like 350 calories. That's not too much. That's perfect for someone that maybe wants to have like a, a low calorie breakfast, but we'll do some additional things. So if you want to bulk up a little bit, have more calories in your breakfast. So while the spinach is getting done, I'll just get a couple of breads and we'll put some peanut butter and jam to have a little carb also for the start of the day. Let's get it. So for the breakfast, as you can see, we have a high protein breakfast with the eggs, of course, and also additional carbs with the bread and peanut butter jelly time. That is, if you want to have more calories in your breakfast, if you want to bulk up and things like that. Now, as you can see, I put the spinach first. It cooks in like a minute or two. After that, we put the eggs and in the time that the eggs are being cooked, we'll just make up the bread with the peanut butter and the jelly and we will be finished very soon. So first meal is done realistically, we did it in like 10 minutes to get the stove hot and everything prepared, but 10 minutes for a full meal is absolutely amazing and it's not time consuming when we have like 24 hours. You just have to wake up like 15 minutes earlier and you have a perfect breakfast to start your day. Now we also want to present you another option for a breakfast or maybe you can have this also later as a snack. We'll do some protein pancakes. We should do them fairly quick in a blender. So here are the calories and everything for this breakfast. Let's get right into it. Sometimes I like to have my protein pancakes also at night, so it's a fairly easy choice that you can make whenever you want to have them. One thing you can do if the batter is not uh, so thick, you can add a bit more oats maybe, or a bit more protein, or maybe you can just reduce the intake of the fluids, or just add one scoop of flour. So the batter is ready, we'll just put it on the stove. While it's being done, we'll do some snacks, so let's get it. While the pancakes are being done, we'll just make some easy snacks that you can take anywhere. Well, this thing can have like 200 calories, so yeah, only this. So the first snack was done in like a minute, maybe even less. The second snack option you can have, we'll bring out the results here of everything. Rice cakes can also be a great pre-workout meal that you can have to fuel up your session. Snack number two is done, like two minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> So we are slowly wrapping up the protein pancakes. Let's go into our lunch here, the results and everything you need to know for it. And let's get right into it. To start our preparations for the lunch, we'll get some sweet potatoes, we will bake them. If you haven't tried these or you haven't incorporated them, they're a great source of carbs and absolutely delicious. Here's how we cut them off. Hopefully every one of them will bake well and nice. We'll just put them on 200 degrees. We'll just leave them done for 30 minutes. And while we do that, we just go and prepare the meat. Pancakes are done. You can top them off with some raspberries and some honey, or maybe if you have some maple syrup, would be great. While the sweet potato is baking, we'll just prep our meat. We have some beef, we'll salt it, and let's start cooking it. We will cook 320 grams of minced beef. 
while we're preparing the lunch, the meat will be almost ready. The sweet potatoes take a bit more time. But now we'll also prepare our protein shake. Just we can have it as a snack or maybe we can load it up with more calories and you can have it also as a dinner. As far as the protein shake goes, you don't have to take it immediately after your workout for the anabolic window. As long as you have your protein intake throughout the day, you're good to go and your muscle is secured. Protein shake done, fairly easy, fairly quick, amazing. So let's prepare our last meal, the dinner. We we'll just do some protein oats, so with some whey protein, banana, things like that. Let's get into it. Now for dinner this day, we have protein oats. You can use casein protein for a slower digestion. It will digest slowly throughout the night. You can have a better sleep like that. I also like to have carbs before bed. It gets me better sleep. You don't want to have something high fat, high protein before bed. You can have like a ton of other options for dinner. I also like to have sometimes tuna with quinoa and some corn, which is a great option, but we will leave that for some other time. And the last meal is done. We're just going to hop on the TV, put our channel, watch some videos and get this delicious. So all the meals are finally done. As you can see, you can put some time in. Yes, it's not that much because while some things are cooking, you can always do something else. You can also prepare for multiple days. Today, we wanted to show you how would a full day of eating look, and you can do that for multiple days and just freeze it and then pop it up, maybe microwave, or you can eat it cold if you want. But definitely something you should consider because it's really different when you eat at home and you know what you put in your food, what you cook, and it's different in any restaurant, even in those that are more expensive expensive things like that so definitely you should consider investing time in preparing your food at home i hope you liked our meals and you saw everything and it was helpful and useful now we have a lot of food to eat so we'll get into it and i uh, will see you in the next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'm out peace